the sudden disappearance of Michael Odhiambo, or as you know him as Naiboy, has left his fans puzzled and craving answers. I believe kuna una chess dream eh? Mm -hmm. Ukipata eh? Even ndio iko? Mm. Yeah. The artist who was once a force to be reckoned with in the Kenyan music scene seems to have taken a break, leaving many wondering what happened to Naiboy. The last time he released music was way back in April 2022 with his release Kill Em With It, a song that, let's be honest, was not a hit song and it got moderate attention and as we speak, it has only 40k views on YouTube. A whole Naiboy getting 40k views. Anyway, the Naiboy once knew the genius behind 2-in-1 is now missing in action. Naiboy achieved significant success in the Kenyan music industry. Many know him as a singer, but he's also a songwriter, rapper, record producer, record executive, and entrepreneur. He had a record label called Pacho Entertainment. And back then, when thinking about Pacho Entertainment, most people pointed to Naiboy as the star of the label. In case you don't remember Pacho, maybe you can remember the tagline Anyway, his biggest singles got millions of views on YouTube and he managed to build strong connections with some of the biggest artists in the game like Nyashinsky, Venagitu and Ben Paul. However, in recent years he disappeared from the spotlight, leaving many fans wondering where the hell he went. Today, we'll try to find out what happened to Naiboy and why is Naiboy so silent because even the last time he posted on Instagram was last year in November which was this picture of Savara and this old man who colonized our grandparents. Anyway, remember to subscribe if you enjoy this content. We can't deny the fact that Naiboy music is unique. He is very talented, but of late, he has been doing the bare minimum to even remind his fans that he's still alive. In the past few weeks, Naiboy only made a few appearances on his social media that has 268k followers and he only posted 4 songs on his YouTube in 2022. The Naiboy we knew in 2018 is not the Naiboy we know now. He was one of the first artists to bring many celebrities together in a song called Two in One, which was a hit song. I bet every Kenyan has crammed the song from start to finish. Before we even talk about the song, let me remind you how Naiboy became Naiboy. Naiboy began his career in music in 2003 as a music producer, producing records for several Kenyan and East African artists, including Christoph. Timothy Dat, King Kaka, Avril, and Waire. He set up a record label, Pacho Entertainment, where he signed on up and coming artists with a view to grooming them into full fledged artists. In this time, he was known as Rapdamu. His musical journey as Rapdamu was not easy. He pursued music for so long that he became a professional underground rapper. What I'm saying is that he had no business being a rapper and it took him close to 14 years to finally get recognition as an artist in Kenya. And this is when he switched to Naiboy in 2014, so he was basically wasting his time rapping. As Naiboy, he released this song called Wele Wele featuring Timothy Dat. You have to know that the name Naiboy is a play on the words Nairobi and Boy. Nairobi is our town, which is found in Kenya. A reason why I even call myself Naibo mm -hmm. is because there was a time when Nigerian music was so, so much in this country. Uh -huh. So I wanted to, to represent you know, mm -hmm. Kenya, capital city in Nairobi. So me, I'm from Nairobi. So yeah. if I'm pushing my music, uh -huh. I'm pushing Nairobi and Kenya. Naibo, he represents. Jeff Kribo. Uh, even Jeff Kribo. The reason why I it was initially called Nairobi Boy, but it was later shortened to Naiboy. Remember, as Rapdamu used to do a lot of rap music. But as Naiboy, he became more of a singer than a rapper. Anyway, since his music career as Naiboy was taking off, 
he decided to give up production and focus on music alone. He went ahead to hire a couple of music producers to help him at his studio as he focused on his career as a recording artist. In 2015, Naiboy featured Frasha on the track Daktari, which was a success, gaining airplay on radio stations across Kenya and East Africa. In 2016, he was featured in this song called Goody Goody, featuring Christoph and also Tingika by Rankada. The two songs were big songs and went on to win the awards for Breakthrough Video and Best New Artist at the Pulse Music Video Awards. He never stopped giving us it and in 2017, he released a single called Problem which topped the music charts in Kenya and enjoyed heavy rotation on all the radio stations. Now we all agree that 2018 was his biggest year and this time Naiboy gave us this single called Two in One, a love song that featured several East African celebrities recording videos of themselves jamming to that song. The song had celebrities like Musioka, Sauti Sol, Nyashinsky, Kansol, Frasha, Christoph, Kawe Mungai, Rosa, Fena, and the list is long. It was a huge song, and as I speak, it has garnered over 6 million views on YouTube. The song even received two nominations for Male Video of the Year and Viewer's Choice of the Year at the 2018 Pulse Music Video Awards. The following year in 2019, Naibu performed alongside Jamaican reggae group Morgan Heritage at the Wasafi Festival, which was held in Nairobi on the eve of the year 2019 and on 4th January 2019, the group made a post on their official Instagram account which indicated that they'll be working on new music with Naiboy. At that time, Naiboy was selected as one of the artists from Kenya to feature in the 2019 season at the Cork Studio Africa. Naiboy was on fire, he was unstoppable, until in 2019 when his fight for Kenyan music got him in trouble alongside Calligraph Jones. Now they were told for throwing shade at Kenyan fans who prefer Niger music over Kenyan music. In a post, Calligraph said he's going to sponsor 10 radio presenters for a trip to Nigeria to see if the fans over there recognize them the way Kenyans love Niger artists. Naibu reshared the post, adding that he was sponsoring five more for the trip. Kenyans didn't take it lightly, and they claimed that Kenyan music was trash. Anyway, in 2020, something strange happened. Naibu unfollowed everyone on Instagram, except his son, citing the negative impact of social media on his mental well-being. He confessed to feeling overwhelmed by the constant comparison with other celebrities. Naibu said that social media can lead to depression and was grateful to have released it before it was too late. As he was too busy and following people on Instagram, he got bigger problems in 2021. Reports indicated that Naiboy was involved in a contractual dispute with his record label Universal Music. In a social media post, Naiboy expressed frustration, revealing that he was blocked from releasing music for almost two years. Naiboy said that all he ever wanted was to make good music for his fans, went on to say that he was tired of being at the mercy of certain people and that he needed serious lawyers. What was more shocking is that Naiboy said he had over 800 songs which were unreleased and he could not release even a single song. What the hell was wrong with that record label? I have no idea. His fans got lucky anyway and in that year in October, Naiboy gave them a 10-track EP, dubbed Otero, which had some decent songs like Kenya Power, Jam and Ntilie, and that is according to me. Go and listen to that EP and let me know how you feel. Now, as fans were enjoying this EP, they received more good news in 2022. Naiboy announced news of his newfound freedom, celebrating his release from the Universal Music label. He shared the news writing, finally free to release music. This is because the record label was blocking him from releasing music. So he was now independent and free to release music. I assume Kenyans or almost everyone was happy that Naiboy was now free. So we expected more hit songs from Naiboy. 
only for him to release four music videos in 2022. The latest one being this song, Kill Em With It, that managed to only amass 40k views. And this was so unlike Nightboy, because you know him as a hit maker. And if he really has 800 songs as he was claiming, why is he not releasing them? If you know Nightboy or you're close to Nightboy, kindly tell him to give us new music because his fans are eagerly anticipating the return of the real Nightboy.